Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. Another fun weekend planned here. We are on our way to Pimatuming Adventure Resort. And we just got off Route 11. Uh, this is US 322 right here. Heading over to Pimatuming. This is our holiday, not holiday weekend, it's our Halloween weekend. So, uh, I'm not going out by myself right now. My wife and daughter are kind of tired. It's been a rough couple weeks, so they decided just to sleep in tomorrow. And I think they're going to try to come down tomorrow sometime uh, for the festivities for Halloween. So, I get to go out, set up, and uh, just have a nice quiet evening. So, I'll shoot some video and all good got some friends coming out that I went to high school with and they just got a new camper just two weeks ago so uh, it's a new 2018 model and this will be their second time out in that camper so it was another opportunity to also get them out for one last weekend we are gonna go out uh, one more week and that's down to uh, Rocky Fork We'll head down there next weekend for their uh, Halloween weekend. And that should be it for the year for us. Have some old tractors over here. The antique engine. It's kind of neat. Maybe one of these days I'll stop in there. Leaves are turning, but they're just not colorful this year. It's been, been so dry. This last week we've had quite a bit of rain and that's the first rain that I remember since probably the first part of July. I mean it has just been so dry. Farmers already have picked their corn and it's not unusual to have corn go uh, drying through November. Maybe even the first part of December, corn's still up just because the farmers are letting it dry. This year, most of the farmers in this area already have it picked. I think there's an Amish buggy up here. I think I saw the the orange um, marker on the back of it. Yeah, I think it just went over the hill. Yep, All right here's an Amish buggy. Well, it's a couple of them. How do you like that? We'll kind of just pass him right now. Pimatuming Adventure Resort is right next to Pimatuming State Park. That campground. They butt right up against each other. State Park Campground's right on the lake. Then there's a fence row and Pimatuming Adventure Resort's right behind it. I think this will be my third trip out here this year. I think we're out here around June. Came out with my brother and their family. And then I came out here with my parents couple weeks back. And we're coming out again. It's pretty nice out here. The only downside is the drive. This isn't one tank trip for me. Let's see if we can get, I'm only getting about nine miles per gallon and I filled up. And I'm just over half a tank. I actually bring five gallons of fuel with me just because I don't want to leave the park. Closest BP is, I don't know, it's probably five or six miles away. I just bring five gallons of fuel with me and that ensures me I get home. And here it is. I mean, it's it's close. Right off of 322. All their decorations out. Yep. 
All right, go get checked in. You have to pull around to the back. Pull around to the back and go on in. This is fun. Yeah, that guy's gonna pull him behind me, so I'll pull up here somewhere. <clears throat> This is the old water park that has been disassembled. Oh, that guy just kept going. Yeah, he was going to the state park. All right. There we go. They're getting all set up. Oh. All right. Just heading back down. Going back to 117, which is right at the end of this driveway right here. So we're going to go flip around and back right into that. Got here early and there are not many people here yet. Cabins are off to the right. Yep, yep, yep. Should be right by that big old reactor, I think. And we'll go up and get around off to the right here, all the permanent sites. Well, look at that. Nobody here yet. Isn't that crazy? The people here, the one right beside me. <laughs> yeah, we should be right there, right by that big old raptor. And then Sarah should be up too. Got somebody between us. All right, we're gonna get set up. So we'll get back in. Get set up. Well, we are all set up. Site 117, right across from the shower home. Pool. Right here we are. Everybody has some cool decorations out. And my friends are on their way, they're in 119, which is two slots up. Hopefully this guy in 118 shows up before they do. I'm just going to ask them if they can go up to 119. Then we can have side-by-side -side slots. This one would be easy, you could just pull right through. The other one has low trees. I'll just tell my buddies to pull right through this one. You don't need to back on in. Had I known that, I wouldn't have had to go through the hassle of backing in over here. Of course, I could have just pulled up and straight back. I'm definitely going to remember that moving forward. Had to use extensions. It's quite a distance. Got my 25-footer and 10-footer. On both water and power. The sewer's a piece of cake. It's pretty much just a drop-down. Sewer was easy here. I know that our power receptacles had better days though. This thing is loose as can be. Look at that. Not great. 
course this guy will be taking the 50 amp side I should just grab the 50 amp maybe it's a little more sturdy since I have my dog bone we're all set up ready to go get fire going it's about dinner time hopefully the family will be out tomorrow that's that's the goal Nothing like a campfire first night. Still very few people here. Look at all the sites that are open back there. Crazy. Let's go take a look. I mean, there's like nobody here. Which is so surprising. When I checked online, it's like these are all booked. Look at this. There's nobody here. All right. So wait and see if we have any neighbors. Maybe I can get my friends in here. Get them on the next site over. If not, that's the way it is. Maybe we'll have an open slot between us. It's quiet. That's only the last time I was here a couple weeks ago. Phew. Well, it's Saturday. We're going to do some Halloween activities here. Nobody pulled in beside us, surprisingly. My friends got here. Uh, ended up just staying on that other site. Which is no big deal. It worked out awesome. Once again, campground is only half full. Surprisingly. I mean, look at all the open spaces over there. Really cool over one here. Country air. I always like those. But yeah. Half full. There's maybe two or three people that have some really cool outdoor act or outdoor uh, Halloween decorations, but not many. Not many, surprisingly. I didn't even bother putting mine out. Yeah, without the family here, it's kind of like, eh, I don't even want to put mine out. I thought they might come down, but they decided to stay home this weekend. So I'm just visiting with some friends, having a good time. All right. Well, closing up for Pyman Tuming 2017. So it's a pretty good sight right here. More. More. <laughs> Off to Rocky Fork next week. All right.